Ruth Langsford, who was seen for the first time since it was announced that her 14-year marriage to Eamon Holmes had ended, appeared to be in a good mood on Wednesday. The 64-year-old TV presenter left the Leo Bancroft salon in Weybridge feeling refreshed and still wearing her wedding ring. She had treated herself to a pampering session. The announcement of Eamon and Ruth's breakup on TV came on Saturday. According to a statement, their lives had gone, in different directions, due to professional obligations. The 64-year-old Eamon is said to have been blindsided by the statement. Ruth, however, appeared unfazed as she carried on with her business, grinning at photographers and walking to her car while holding a fashionable Stanley Cup. The single mother looked put together on the outing, wearing black pants and sneakers with a Breton-striped top. She accessorized with tortoiseshell sunglasses and added a quilted black jacket and large brown handbag to the ensemble. The news of Ruth's outing came as friends of Eamon said that he was mad and confused at her choice to disclose it. Ruth's spokesperson revealed the statement on Saturday afternoon, stating that Ruth Langsford and Eamon Holmes had acknowledged their marriage is over and they are currently divorcing, just hours before he found out about her plot. A joint statement was used to describe the announcement. Eamon was left blindsided, it was awful for him, stated a friend of Eamon's that it was just hours before it was published that he actually learned about it, considering that the statement expressed their desire to maintain good relations, everything appears a little strange. Eamon was not interested in being involved and did not understand why you would make that statement public. Ruth and her team wrote and approved it entirely. Ultimately, he possessed no authority whatsoever over it. In recent weeks, Eamon had been confiding in his colleagues at GB News about how very bad things had been with his wife. They had been worried about him lately. They acknowledged that he had been down, but they explained it away as his suffering. Eamon used to be the bullshy star of daytime television. He was a confident and noisy member of the team, remarked one of his co-workers, however, it was evident that he had been having difficulties lately. His crumbling marriage and the agony of his fall from a few years ago were making him more and more irritable. Wearing his wedding ring on his left finger, the Northern Irish television anchor discussed the breakup in public for the first time on his GB News breakfast show on Wednesday morning. The presenter remarked, Just before we move on, We'd just like to thank people for your support for Ruth and I over the last few days as to the news of our separation, with co-host Isabel Webster that we sincerely appreciate your support for the two of us. Following the breakup, it became public knowledge that Eamon had followed several Instagram accounts with photos of women wearing skimpy clothing. The news anchor followed the accounts of several ladies who frequently share pictures of themselves in underwear on Instagram using his official account. Pictures of a woman wearing revealing blouses with low necklines and small miniskirts in an office setting may be found on a page titled, Your Office Obsession. The biography includes a link to a related OnlyFans page with the words, Shoo. Don't tell HR I'm on here. Another page with the username Stocking Sandheels features Sharon Janney, an OnlyFans model, with attractive stockings and undergarments. Unless she is featured on it, the bio says, the page you don't want your wife to find out about. In other places, Eamon follows Marta Ragusa, an Italian model, who has an image of herself posted to the top of the page showing off her peach behind in a black thong and sheer stockings. She uploads photos to her Instagram with phrases like, self-love, feeling sexy, and lingerie lovers. It's unclear if Eamon began reading the tales before or following his breakup with Ruth. Eamon broke his silence about his divorce from wife Ruth on Monday during his presenting gig on GB News's breakfast program. He made an appearance wearing his wedding ring. Devastated by the news of the breakup, he reportedly opposed its announcement, insiders claim. Following the release of the statement, Eamon made some posts on Instagram on the FA Cup over the weekend, but, his remarks on GB News Breakfast program on Tuesday were his first public remarks on the breakup since. It was anticipated that the venerable host will address his split with Ruth on Monday's GB News. However, 
Hosts Nana Akua and Michael Portillo filled in, Eamon's first show since the separation was revealed was this one. Ruth and Eamon declared in their statement on Saturday that, having worked together for the majority of their professional life, they were determined to stay friends. But according to sources, Eamon declined to approve the statement before it was released, and Ruth orchestrated it instead. Eamon allegedly said to acquaintances that Ruth can do what she wants, but keep me out of it, and that he didn't want to get involved. As he was enjoying Manchester United's unexpected FA Cup final victory over Manchester City, he posted a picture of himself with Sir Alex Ferguson on Instagram over the weekend. My God, what a cup final, what a result, read the caption. Football in Europe next season as well. The cup's magic. Greetings to the entire team. Trustees of the Manchester United Foundation, Eamon received a barrage of questions regarding his split from worried fans after posting. After dating for 13 years, the pair decided to get married in 2010 and declared their intention to stay friends, in spite of their breakup. In addition to Eamon's sons Declan, 35, and Neil, 31, and his daughter Rebecca, 33, from a previous marriage, they are parents to their 22-year-old son Jack. According to reports, Eamon and Ruth have been having painful conversations over who will gain custody of their cherished puppy when they split up. In her first social media post after their breakup became public on Sunday, Ruth posted a video of herself walking Collie Cross Maggie. She and her separated husband refer to the dog as a second child. When Eamon and Ruth were dating, the 14-year-old dog, who they adopted in 2011, was a frequent presence on Eamon's Instagram page. It is claimed that Eamon and Ruth, the former couple, are trying to avoid hiring attorneys like Aunt McPartland and his ex-lover Lisa Armstrong because they have been leading separate lives for as long as two years and are currently having difficult conversations over who will retain Maggie. Maggie is like a daughter to them, an insider told The Sun. They adore her. However, they are aware of her need for stability as she ages, who can provide her that is the question. Maggie has been a huge comfort to Eamon amid his health issues, and he adores her. But if Ruth is able to get out and about and walk her more, then it may very well be that she gets Maggie in a split second. He finds the idea of losing her quite painful, they are adamant that they won't involve attorneys and that this would not end up like what Aunt and Lisa went through. Up until recently, the couple had been residing in their £3.2 million Weybridge, Surrey house together. On Sunday, Ruth spent time with her mother Joan and went for a stroll with their dog. Enjoying the little bit of sunshine we got today, she posted on Instagram. The couple allegedly split up in 2021 and have been leading separate lives for the past two years, according to insiders who made this revelation on Sunday. Over the past two years, Eamon has faced several challenges, including losing the ITV show, dealing with health issues, and grieving the loss of his mother. Ruth insisted that they remain in their Surrey house, despite the presenter's apparent desire to return home to Belfast. Eamon and Ruth's friendship changed after they left this morning, an insider told The Sun on Sunday. Their objectives began to shift, and they began to go in different professional directions. Though Ruth would never go, Eamon was fervent to go back to Belfast, where he considers to be home. It turned into a point of controversy, Eamon took a different route in her ITV career, and they ended up becoming ships in the night. They had been living different lives, both personally and professionally, for the last two years.